we need to talk about this. What's up guys and welcome back to Project Time Garage and another quick review for you. This time it's this. This is a, um, I'm actually kind of, I'm kind of surprised about this to be quite honest with you because this is an OBD2 scanner and it's even a cheap one. It's like 20 bucks, 23 bucks on Amazon. It literally is, I mean, you have meals more expensive than this on a regular basis. Honestly, I think I have more change than that in my pocket right now. 23 bucks on Amazon as of today. But the thing that, that floors me about it is, not only is it a scanner, but it actually shows real-time data and graphing. I was kind of blown away by that. I'm going to put an Amazon link down there in the description of this video for this because I have a feeling that when you see this, you're probably going to want one. And for the price, man, I'm... I'm actually going to order another one and just throw it in, in my truck just to have and to hold. Have one in your toolbox, one in your truck, keep one in your wallet, I keep one in each one of my shoes, you know, always have an OBD scanner. So um, we have a check engine light on on my daughter's Hummer here. Let's plug it in and let me run through it with you. Um, really good for 23 bucks. Let's go check it out. All right, we're plugged in. Let's uh, Let's turn the key on. Oh, I hate that ding. Let's start the car. There we go. Uh, let it finish dinging. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to um, our settings. And we're going to change our unit of measure. And we're going to say English because we don't know anything about metricals. And we'll back out of that. All right. So here on the main screen, uh, we have two buttons. We have a VIN and a DTC. So for VIN, we can hit it, and it'll display the VIN of our vehicle, so that's handy. We can also hit the DTC button and go right into the code. So, uh, okay, so Catalyst System, so we have a PO420, looks like we have three codes up here. PO420, PO449, EVAP, because it's a GM, and well, it has EVAP codes. Number three is a uh, PO420 again. So there we go. So from this screen, it doesn't give us any option to delete codes. Uh, this is just the DTC button just gets you in to view them. We can go backward and we can go uh, up to OBD and OK. Two codes. Uh, there are four monitors. And we can read the codes from there. Same thing again. Going to give you the same three codes. And then from here, we have an option to erase code. So let's erase them. Yes. Erasing. Oh, because the engine's running. Let's do this. Erase codes. Yes. Uh, actually, it obviously deleted the codes. So the other thing uh, that I could do is if, if I had a, if I had read the uh, freeze frame data ahead of time, I would have been able to see all my freeze frames. But since I don't have, uh, since I cleared the code, I don't have any freeze frame information to look at. But I can look at uh, the emissions readiness. And look at, let's look at since we've cleared the, we have two options. We can see since see the uh, readiness since we uh, uh, since we cleared our last check engine light or during this drive cycle. Let's look and um, let's just look since the ETCs were cleared. So we don't have a check engine light. Monitor's okay. Fuel system's okay. Catalyst incomplete. EVAP incomplete. Oxygen monitor and heater incomplete. So there we go. So uh, in this case this is a GM vehicle and you have to drive it for about 33 years it has to be turned off 1,274 times, and uh, you have to turn the vehicle upside down, and then you have to shake it, and then you have to spit on it, and then eventually uh, it will it will actually check all these. So that's where we're at with that. So going back to uh, going back to the main screen again here, that was the OBD2 section or the OBD section. We also have the DTC lookup. 
so so we can uh, the way we work this is the down arrow moves you over and the up arrow changes the value so the up arrow so let's look at PO 420 0 oh, 1 2 3 4 20 okay and that would be our catalyst system efficiency below bank that's when we had earlier that we cleared so that's just a quick generic lookup the other thing we've got here is data stream information I thought this was really cool for a, for a tool of this price point anyway it's extremely cool so our fuel system is in closed loop uh, we have a 16.9 percent load and if we give it some gas we'll see that changing uh, the uh, engine temp coolant is 189 degrees. Uh, the short-term fuel trim is uh, 0.08 to negative uh, 0.8. We can go down another page. Page two, our long-term fuel trim is uh, we're moving 2.3 percent. Short-term for two is 0.8. Long-term is point, uh, negative 2.3. So um, yeah, map RPM. Our timing advance, of course, our vehicle speed, we're sitting still. But yeah, I just thought that was pretty cool. And also, here's another cool thing about it that I kind of was really surprised about. Real-time curve. Okay, so let's look at um, engine coolant temp. How about that? So you can actually graph that on the screen. And uh, oh, engine RPM. And for this for this car, it only shows uh, four different things that I can uh, graph: car, the speed, the load, the coolant, and the engine RPM. But again, uh, most of my little cheap just code readers won't even show me that. So that's pretty that's pretty cool. And then this uh, this fourth option up here is the same thing, just the same real time curve. They have several different ways of getting back to the same thing. But I just thought that was a really cool. That was a really cool thing for 23 bucks. How the heck do you beat something like that? The only thing that I would consider a little bit of a complaint about it is the OBD2 cable is not very long. It's about this long. Why, yes, my neighbor does have dogs. Um, you know, it's a little short, but at the end of the day, it's, it's you can't complain for 23 bucks, right? Um, like I said, I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna put one of these in each one of my toolboxes and I'll probably just keep one in the car too like I said 23 bucks how do you beat it you can't that's how you beat it anyway guys uh, quick review appreciate you watching the channel hope I uh, hope you got something out of this again I'm gonna leave an Amazon link down there for this uh, for this thing should you decide to go get one um, why wouldn't you right anyway guys as usual I appreciate you watching hope you got something out of this little review uh, as usual, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tell all your friends about us. Guys, I'll see you next time.